Hello everybody, Fixer here, and I'm joined by Kitmans. Hello there. And we are playing Moon Hunters, which is released by Kit Fox Games on March 10th at uh, Steam, Itch, GOG.com, Humble Store, etc. Uh, your usual suspects. And this is described as a one to four player co-op action personality test RPG. Did you get all that? Mm-hmm. So it takes place in this ancient world where you can build your mythology as you play. There's lots of different choices and storyline things that you can do. And the whole point is that you're on search for the missing moon goddess and you got to find her and all that jazz. And you can get different parts of the story depending on which character you play and which places you go to. Um, it is, in a way, I think, randomly generated. Uh, at least some things are. So you can go play through the game, and then you can play through it again and get different stuff. And each time you play, you get closer and closer to finding the moon goddess. Something along those lines. It's it's kind of bizarre. So we'll hop into it. There's a little bit of an intro that kind of gives you a little bit of a setup. Not much of one, but uh, we'll do that real quick. First thing we need to do is select our characters. All right, I started my host up, so go ahead and join me. All right. All right. So you start off with a, a a few characters that you could choose. For instance, we got the ritualist, the druid, the witch, and spellblade. And there are two characters that you can unlock. So far, we have no idea how to unlock these guys, but they get unlocked. And then, of course, when you select the guy, you have a few different colors you can choose from to customize them and whatnot. Who are you going with? I am going with witch, torn between being yellow and and pink. Um, yellow is my favorite color, so I'm going with yellow. I went with, um, Spellblade, um, during our test, and I don't know, I kept on dying as him. I wasn't very good, so I think I'm going to go with somebody else. Druid is a shapeshifter. I think I want to go with him. Let's get a new name. Hmm. There you go, Fixer the Druid. Mine doesn't fit all the way. And it doesn't seem to let me want to go back I and think fix you, it. I think if you hit escape, it'll unconfirm. No? No. All right, well, you're stuck with Kitten Mitt. Kitten Mitt. It's like when I hit E, all of a sudden it was like, oh, you chose it? All right, as soon as I hit confirm, it'll jump into the story. And just for full disclosure, the keys were provided by Kit Fox Studios. Thank you very much. We're going to have a good Thank time. Thank you. Let's go in. There we go. We get to decide where we are located from. I think this becomes an option in the game to visit. And you can... I don't know. I'm going with Wolf Clan this time because we did Dusk Folk before. I'm not positive if this just means where we both start the game. Or if it has some background to our character. I think it's both. I think it's both. So in this game, um, again, it's one to four people, but you can vote on what decisions get made. And I'm assuming a majority rules, but I don't know for sure. And um, in this case, though, since there's only two people, it seems to choose whatever the host chooses. And I'm the host, so I, I pretty much get to dictate, I think. Perhaps you'd met them in a dream. Yeah, that's it's not, not fair. Heroes that walked among us. Their stories taught us how to endure difficult times. For generations, we looked to them for strength, for guidance. Journeys end, but stories live on. Long ago, in this land we call Asaria, our heroes were just travelers trying to find a way home. And then it abruptly ends. That's that. So we're just trying to find our way home. All right, and I know it lags a little bit on here. The um, uh oh, is that a guy already <laughs> I don't know attacking what us? That was. Yep. Hey, we're getting attacked. Uh, yeah, I, I think I was a little behind you, but. All right. So before we move forward, um, although the game is released the um online. Is still in beta. The the online multiplayer is still in beta. Local co-op, I think, is okay. But um, it's a little bit 
buggy, but uh, we'll get through it. So anyways, here's our characters. And if you look at the top uh, left, you sh it shows who we are. The red bar is our health, and the green bar is our energy? Stamina. Stamina? Okay. You hit tab, and it shows your abilities. I have a lift barrage, and vines, and I can go into wolf form. Ooh. So, I think this is my barrage. This is my, my leaf. And what does it do? Um, Tangled Vine Slow Enemies. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. <gasps> You're a puppy! Ah! Awesome. Um, so, my witch stabs, um, has a blood beam, which is a magical blast with blood power, you know. And then I can charge, charge forward, knocking back and damaging enemies. So, stabbing, freaking laser beam, and charging. And charging, I think I can knock back here a little. Alright, and when you do things, sometimes you gain a little bit of a reputation. Uh, there's different types of um, values that can be put in here that can influence what happens to you in the future. And then there, it shows your stats, and endurance translates to your health, spirit into your regen, strength into your physical damage, intellect to your magical damage, faith into your energy, and charm into your leadership. And we haven't really discovered what our what leadership does quite yet. And then mm -mm. Uh, these uh, this is the currency here, opals. And we start out, we only get 11. So anyways, we got the mini-map at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and <laughs> let's move forward. Well, this this looks fine. I'm comfortable with whatever is going on here. Yeah. So there's different things scattered. All right, we're gonna have to fight real quick. All right, you can. Like, All right, I'm so killing things with leaves. Yeah. <laughs> so there's different things that spawn, and I don't know exactly how much this is procedurally generated. I think the whole map is, and I believe these things can spawn. Oh god, I don't do a lot of damage with this. I wonder how much damage I do as a, a wolf. So anyways, these things I think can spawn just about anywhere, and if we were to start to level over, this may not be here at all. So we can walk up to these dudes and we can talk. Two figures argue by torchlight. The infant deserves a chance at normal human life. The wolf clan cares for orphan cubs and babies alike. Let the village adopt them. Uh, and this is Nanetta the Shrine Maiden. Why be normal when we can be extraordinary? Let him be raised by the Great Mother herself to take over for me as caretaker of the shrines. <laughs> you there, Fixer. What is the most important in this life? Happiness or purpose? And so as a group, we can vote on which one we want. Unfortunately, there's only two of us, so... It can be split down the middle. And you override me, so it's pretty much your show. Yeah, since I'm the host, I think I override... I break any tiebreakers. I don't know that for sure, but that's what it seemed like in our previous playthrough. What is important, most important this life? Let's see. I'm going to go with purpose. Uh, I will split it to see what happens. You chose purpose on my screen. I did? Yes. Shit. There, you see, life is short. We must strive to make our mark now while we can. Very well. Let us plan the babe's introduction as Shrine Apprentice at the First Moods Feast, then. <laughs> you helped an orphan baby become a Shrine Apprentice. You gain reputation as prideful. Look at that baby. Yeah, it didn't, um, it didn't go up in our screen there. So, I'm not sure what happened there. And we can't attack him. Alright, let's move forward. These are in the face. And those Oops. are opals. That's the in-game currency. Which we can spend on various abilities later on. I don't on. think we need to camp yet. Do we? we look more? Yeah, let's look around more. Or is this is pretty much it. Alright, so in the wild, there are some various foods that we can collect. Usually fruits and vegetables and whatnot. Right. And those come into play when you camp at night. And when you camp... 
we'll go into that when it happens, but let's uh, let's move past this. When you camp, you have various things that you can do that can enhance your abilities for the future. Thought I could attack that. I can't. I can't tell if this guy is carving or painting. Uh, the Seer Beyond Stone. When I feel lost, I pray in the general direction of the Silver Sister and the Pale Dancer. They guide my path to my next holy sculpture. Okay, so he's sculpting. Thanks for the info. I think. Is that about that? I think we're supposed to camp. Okay. Get away from me. Filthy mud. So here's our camp. I'm okay with it. Alright, so the outskirts are clear. Now I, I disagree with this. Again, <laughs> I feel it's buggy. Yeah, this part is seems to be a little bit buggy. When we go to camp for the night, it it, it shows what kind of reputation or or something that affects, or something that reflects what we've done over the previous day. Um, for whatever reason, it says that I've been fleet, I guess fleet of foot, and she's been greedy. Sometimes it'll give you a message down here too, but the weird thing about this is, is it'll show her something different than what it shows me. It, it's almost like self-perception, I think. I don't know if it's intended or not. For instance, what does uh, it say for you? Uh, for me, you are a pushover, uh, um, and I am lethal. So, so, I guess that... We see each other very differently. Well, she, she, you know, she sees me as a pushover, and that kind of supports me thinking she's greedy, doesn't it? Possibly. Yeah, I don't know. That's strange. We haven't figured that part out yet. But anyways, we hit tab and we can move on from here. Alright, so we have different options uh, camping here. You can rest, cook, stargaze, hunt, or keep watch. And it'll show these icons here... And it usually affects those icons. So if you were to rest, it's going to affect your charm and your endurance. Cooking, we can um, we can use the things that we gather. Like she found the mushrooms, we can use and use those in cooking. However, you think I think you need at least two ingredients, so we don't have enough to do that yet. Um, I think you always have water, so you can combine something with water, ah, okay. and then depending on what you craft, that is going to give you a random effect. All right, all right. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of my my health here, so I'm gonna pick something that'll help my endurance. I'm guessing it shows endurance under keep watch and rest. So I'm guessing maybe rest helps endurance and keep watch hurts endurance. I don't know. All I know is my ass is gonna rest. <laughs> um, I wanna see what I can make with the um with the mushroom. All right. Science. So it goes into this cooking menu where she can choose different items in order to come up with food. And the food is... It's, it's kind of arbitrary. I don't think you can actually eat in this game. It just sets um, certain, I guess, modifiers to your stats over the next day. So go ahead and cook whichever you want to cook. I don't even see the mushroom. So maybe you pick that up and you have it? So I don't, I don't know how that works. Oh. Uh, yeah, I see the mushroom down here, so maybe it is me. It's in the bottom right, second from the right. right. Yeah, I see it. It's grayed I out? I can't do it, though. All right, yeah, so I guess it's me. only for me, then. Well, so I'm going to... Oh. Make rice, I think. Um, so we got rice and mushrooms in there. Oh, you do? Yeah. It I... says I have rice and water. Oh, interesting. I think this is the buggy part of the online play. <laughs> Trying to make the things actually work together. Is that, so, it says you, I made fluffy rice. Alright, it says here you discovered uh, Birani. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> and it gives everyone three endurance. I still give everybody three endurance with my fluffy rice, so I guess that works out. I probably shouldn't interfere then if you're cooking, so we'll, we'll know that for next time. Fix a rest, recovering from the journey. He gains hey, five charm and three endurance, and it shows up here what's changed. A family sits around a fire as their mother tells stories 
of their great ancestor. You slowly realize that they are describing you, but have many details wrong. So I believe this is my decision here. Yeah, I can't move it. Right. Um. You gonna let him talk about you like that, man? They're they're talking fondly of me, though. If they're talking fondly, then I'm just gonna listen. You listen to the many great deeds you seem to have done, fascinated by your own saga. You awaken with a much greater sense of your importance. Oh, that's fantastic. That's what we need. Fixer gains attraction in five turn. Let's pack up. We're nearly home now. The first moon feast. So it goes into this map area, and we can wander around like this, but you select the next place you want to go, which is going to be Kasura, I guess. I think that's our home. I think that's where we started. No, this is the outskirts. Oh, that's where we're from. Yeah, that's where we're from. And see, we don't have any of the other places unlocked, so we can't go to them. So let's head over to Kasura and, and go there. I have an idea that that's where the story, like, starts, anyway. In your hometown. The music is great. So this is Lahamu the Merchant. Ah, uh, oh, so you should probably talk since I'm the one interacting. Ah, yes, a hero of the ages. That's you, certainly. Yes. <laughs> Especially when you spend your opals. So this is um, a merchant right here. It'll give you four different options on what to purchase. I don't think it gives you more than four. It tells you how much they cost, and this is how much you have here. So it's like a trainer, kind of. Yeah, it's more like a trainer than a merchant. Aerodynamics. I don't know if I want that. Oh, I have a lot of inexpensive options. Look at you. Yeah. Too badass. Then I'm expensive, I guess. I don't know. Well, I'm going for two vine fields at once. Um, I chose this when I was experimenting before, and it's helpful when I use the... Okay, well, let me... It says I have 16, right? It shows you there, purchased there it. There it goes. Yeah. It, it may update on my screen before it updates to your screen, is my guess. It's a kitty cat. Uh, Zarai, Nicole. Oh, my worries are small and petty compared to yours, I'm sure. Best of luck with your travels. Adopted Mike? We need the most ripe fruits for the first moon feast. Good call. So there's a cat on top of that, whatever that is, a tree stump? I don't know. But there's this little town, you go around talking to people and... and Everything just... And you can break their stuff. Yeah, you can break their stuff. And everything just seems a little... Bizarre. You're pushing me. You like it. <laughs> Girl hack. You smell like so many foreign places. Maybe I'll go traveling far from the pack someday. Is that a compliment? The elders swap nostalgic stories of mistakes in their youth. Perhaps someone more patient would listen to their ramblings. So I'm patient. I feel like you just screwed us out of a story. What? Can I? I, I have a feeling, though, look at how they, see how the word patient is bold? I have a feeling that you have to have a reputation of patience right. in order to unlock that. That's my guess. That's what I meant. I was saying that was probably your fault. Uh, I heard about a cat that can teach you to talk to animals, but listening to my lazy cat hasn't taught me anything at all. <laughs> Meow. Meow. I don't see an NPC. I have no idea where you did that. Right down down here? You don't see this guy? No. <laughs> There's a pile of measuring sticks. Uh, strange. You're talking to yourself. Elder Bazi, it's time to start setting up for the first moon feast. Are you ready? Sure, let's do this. I was hoping you'd say that. I hope there's enough cake for everyone. There's always enough cake. You can never have too much. To and watch the moon rise. Everyone sang into the darkness to welcome the full moon. But she didn't rise. 
the singing stopped. Panic spread across the village. Oh. It feels like those end abruptly, doesn't it? It does. It just boom, you're back here. So Elder Bazi. There's nothing to fear. The Wolf Clan has overcome every calamity. We will make the Great Mother proud until her return. That's quite a hat. It is. He's a little young, too. <laughs> to be the Elder? Yes. <laughs> Fixer, you have to figure out what's happened. If you can find a sworn priestess, maybe she can help. Sweet, I get to go find a princess. Priestess. Oh, priestess. So it's later in the evening, and looks like people are scattered about. Tabira, how could you leave me to this fate to face this alone? Wow. I guess no one else has anything interesting to say over here. Oh, look at the trees got a face. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a spirit here. The spirit speaks in a tongue that sounds like the wind over sand. Thank you, spirit. Can we go in here? <laughs> but my opal. The air within is cool and damp. The villagers debate the virtues and risks of cooking soup versus stew. Important. Alright, there was nothing interesting in there. The brighter light is momentarily blinding. Anything else interesting around here? Oh, there we go. Got an opal. This guy? Who's, did we talk to him? Uh, in her wisdom, the Great Mother provides abundance only to those with gentle hearts and sharp minds. Thanks. What am I sticking? I think that's it. Yep. Oh, look at that. A heart. She just tore up that old lady's. <laughs> All her wares. Look at her. Um, there's an exclamation point on the map. Did you see that? Oh yeah, top right. Um, showing this is- oh, look. The Great Mother watches over the village, her face grown from ancient wood. Her faces? She has multiple faces. The Wolf Clan says the moon burrs of all life and nurtures all instinct, calling even the tiniest worm her daughter. We gained some cunning. Your schemes are many and effective. Thank you. I guess let's go this way. Alright, so look what we have unlocked. The mangroves. Um, the parched flats. Windy barrens. Abandoned Al Aridia? I have no idea. Crystal Mountains. So, I don't know what those little icons mean. The, the weight is a training area. I know that. Mm -hmm. But this here, here, I guess that's... I don't know if that's a cooking pot. Honey Oasis, it says. The honey, the honey is an ingredient we can find. Right. Now, I don't know if we have like limited amount... Of, I think we have a limited amount of time in order to do this. So I think we don't get to explore every single one of these. I think only so many. So this is what I think. This is upgrades, but we don't have any money, right? Not really. So we need a place with money. So how about this? Sure. I like the art. Yeah, it's pretty. Fight, fight, fight! I am. Is it not showing? Yeah, it's just When I get too close, it just... it like... I took a lot of damage yeah. there. When they're too close to me, I can't use the beam. Ah. Uh. It could always be worse, DFQ. Now, we're not sure what this <laughs> stuff is, but we have a feeling that, that 
it has some kind of player influence. I don't. You just pushed me off the screen. Did you see that too? <laughs> yes. I'm gone. We're gone. Oh boy. <laughs> no, you were pushing me. Sure. Oh, we can cook with cactus. Hooray! So I don't know how to tell him to that up. Is this a hole? It, it okay. is indeed. That's a purple heart. Oh, I'm sorry. Heart. Did you need that? Yeah, I needed that. Thank you. I think we ran into a corner. In a tight spot. Oh, look at all these. There's a ton of them. I was gonna say, why did the music stop? It did? It did for me. I think it's like too much sound was happening at once. I don't know. I mean, you weren't picking up those hearts. Do you see? Um, I've picked up everything. Okay. Yeah, some of the loot will, will show on her screen and some of it will not because she is the client. Anything up here? No. There's this little creature down here. I poked it. Nothing's I don't, happened. I don't know. Can't do anything I'm, with it. I'm guessing if you have, you can have the ability to speak to animals. Yeah, th there you go. Maybe that's where that would come in handy. Use someone... Like an NPC. Would you like to heal or revive all of our party members? I guess we're not really um, going to. Yeah, you know? I don't know if it, it's only allowed to be used once, so let's hit cancel since we don't need it. Ah. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Holy cow. I don't feel like I do a lot of damage with this damn thing. I do, but I run out of, like, I run out of stamina really quickly. And I should probably dodge. And maybe try to take out... You can, you can hit their little things, their, whatever they're firing at us. I saw that. I took out their nest. Maybe that'll slow down their spawn. <gasps> I I don't want to die. Uh, no, don't do that. Oh, I think there's multiple nests. Well, I took out one. Oh, what I happened? With my destructo beam. All right, so I think this is a second nest here. Yep. Oh, no, I'm dead. Oh, I, well, what's awful is I don't see the nest. All right, well, you're going to have to come revive me before you die. All right, I'm going to go after the nest. It's down. <laughs> I don't have a lot of health left. These guys aren't dropping any hearts. Oh! Honey! Honey! Yeah, we didn't get much from... I mean, we got that head. Alright, let's go, nice. let's go revive now. Kill me! I guess I could have come over here and done that. And picked you. Yep, so now we know what those holes are. I'm getting some lag. Are ya? 
Let's check up here before we go. Oh, there's something here. Oh, it's a boss fight. Nice. Oh. That was quick. Get him, puppy! What are what are these guys? Masters. Oh shit. Oh boy. He's got Is a lot of slow? HP. What's that? Yeah, this, this slows him. It slows him? Yeah. Go ahead. Alright, that's a lot of opals. I don't think we can do anything to interact with this, can we now? No. Alright, let's move on. Is there a cooldown on that? It, 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 no, it, but it chews up mana or endurance, whatever. Oh, okay. There's so a heart can you here. Only stay in it while your mana is up. Yeah. So that's the way out. Heart. You see this heart here? Yes. Okay. So that's the way out. Yeah, I think we did everything we could here, right? I mean, it, it was just honey. It said oasis and honey. I don't know if the oasis was the healing. Let's see, because I think that's what's marked on the map. How about down here? Is this is this the area? Is this an area that we... Oh, uh, here we go. What's this right here? Is this where we... That's where we healed. Oh. It's not on my screen anymore. Spirits. Oh. So I now will stab at people to get some of my stamina back to use for my beam. Oh, the this one will talk to us. Nice. The weeping and gnashing of the spirit tickles feathery at the edges of your mind. That's... Um... It's absurd. Are you gonna click? Uh, it won't let... Oh, there it is. After watching the spirits for a time, you notice each is marked with a crescent moon. Soon after, the holy dead sink into the sands and return to the underworld. Okay. Oh, gained wisdom and three intellect. Well, there are moon people, and we're moon people, so I guess that's good. I don't know. I don't know where wisdom comes into play. It says we gained three wisdom, but I don't know if that's like a stat or what. Oh, this might be the way over here. Or maybe not. I think that's it. Okay, so is the oasis the healing station? Oh no, here's the oasis. Obviously. The water shimmers, then bubbles, then begins to boil. Small fish leap from the surface. Uh-oh. <gasps> I'm feeling feisty. Oh my. Dangerous. We don't know what's gonna... The water vanishes beneath your touch. You dig your hands into the dry sand. I guess it was all a mirage, and I, I don't know what that was. Neither do I. I I have a feeling it was like confusion, or um, we looked foolish. I heard a dog, and it's not me. It's neighbor's dog. Uh oh, is that it? I think we cleared it. Um, is that an exit over there to the right? Let's do that. Yeah, that's where we were. <laughs> do you have little smoke thingies coming out of your feet? 
I do. I don't know what that means. I, I, I can see mine, but I can't see it on yours. It might be like a client yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's just camp. Let me get out of here. Shall we camp? Well, yeah. Parch flats clear. I am rowdy and you are lethal, and I'm not getting the messages at the bottom of the screen. I don't have one either. Um, it says, I think I'm rowdy and I think you're greedy. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. I don't have a lot of faith, do I? Hmm. I'm gonna stargaze. What you gonna do? What, what moon was it? I know the moons affect, like... They affect hunting. I can get our endurance up, I guess, again. Oh, I have the mushroom now. So, mushroom. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with this. I'll let you do this so it doesn't. so I don't mess anything up. I can see what happens if I. <laughs> like, that doesn't seem like it does anything, but I can see what happens if I mix mushroom and flour. See, it doesn't show the mushroom on my screen. I think that's, oh. again, once that's the buggy part of the online play. I mix the ingredients, and I get... Okay, we're back. We're back in camp. Everything seems to be okay, I hope. <laughs> For now. I'm gonna stargaze. Um... Cook again? <laughs> Scared to. To touch anything. Um, mushroom. Yeah, see, I can see everything fine now. So maybe a, a reboot of the game is all that we needed, hopefully. What do I get? Mush, Mush bread. Mush bread. Sounds delicious. Three and dirts for us both. Fixer studies the constellations. That's an awesome picture of me. <laughs> Looks just like you. Tracking the moon's path for meaning. Uh, gain wisdom, seven intellect, and five faith. The stars are unusually beautiful and bright without the holy moon's light to compete with. You wonder if it's blasphemy to even to be even a little thankful she's gone. Oh jeez. Repent. <laughs> you nurture regret in your heart though it weighs you down this is the burden of imperfection you harden yourself to further doubts Fixer gains pride and five endurance as dawn breaks a figure approaches camp Sargon King Mardok announces that the righteous sun has hereby vanquished and destroyed the temptress moon Whoa, well, buddy all tribes are graciously allowed to swear fealty to King Murdoch. You, however, must die. Prepare yourself for annihilation in three dawns from now. Okay, so it says you, however, must die. Um, so is that something that has been changed? Or it can be changed? I don't know, because it's bold. That reacts to I don't, us? In this case, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, Why? Well, yeah, I disagree. I don't think I should die. King Mardok has worked in secret for years to lead us toward a new age of enlightenment and civilization. An age of the sun to unite all the tribes. You represent the old ways of idols, chaos, and anarchy. But there is only one truth, and he shall triumph, it is written. The cultist swaggers into the dawn. <laughs> Freaking cultists. Could the Queen of Heaven really be destroyed? Surely there is another explanation. Three days remaining. I feel like you got a lot more out of what you your um, night activity of choice than I got. Yeah, I, I think cooking is a sacrifice for the team. So I don't think the same person should cook every night because... Otherwise, I get stats and you don't. You actually get stats for me. <laughs> yeah. So that that seems like a, a pretty raw deal. Anyways, 
I think we're going to end the first episode there. Uh, next episode, maybe we'll hop over into one of these other areas. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.